Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the Mali. Alrighty, so let's jump right back into where we were and uh, I think we made the decision to go for a scientific victory and I think we had some plans about things that we wanted to buy. I don't exactly remember them because that was a little while ago, but uh, I think you want to buy my coal. I have plenty of coal to spare. And this is two luxuries for one luxury, essentially. So I'll take that deal because I have a decent amount of coal income. Um, I think we had a plan to purchase something, but I can't remember what it was. We'll have to just try and remember it. I think we were considering buying settlers. I think that was one part of the plan. I mean, we could settle over here, but does settling more cities actually do anything for me? I'm not really sure that it does. I guess I could settle like right there. Capture all these empty tiles and have a little bit of a border with Hungary and I could settle another city down here. I suppose there is really no harm in just going for more cities. Uh, we have built the stupa here and I wanted to try out how efficient it would be to maybe do some of these projects instead of um, instead of building things. So for example in here, this, this city definitely needs a neighborhood. Um, that could be a good mine. Definitely it's a good neighborhood. It has a bunch of stuff it needs to build too, like an industrial zone. Um, but let's go ahead and grab the neighborhood, I think. I can actually finally show this now because it's release. Um, I'm on the launch build, so I think I'm allowed to show that, uh, which feels pretty good. Do I put this here? I think we're going to build a neighborhood here. But we're going to work on the industrial zone first we built a spy in here who makes good money you make about a thousand gold that's fine i definitely would like a saguba and um, we have a plus two tile here but that is a farm i would kill a farm there's a plus two tile over here there's a plus three tile here i couldn't get a new farm triangle if i place it here i could get a new one if i place it here hmm. is there a tile that i could use I really don't want to go without a Saguba in this city. I kind of regret putting the University of Saint Core. I think I'm just going to put it over here and sacrifice the um, the hill. We have the Saguba over here. Let's get the bank and the market. And then we'll also grab the lighthouse. I think it might have been something to do. I can't remember what it was that I was going to purchase, but I completely forgot. Was it like a great person? Oh, no, I remember what it was. It was something to do with city-states. There were city-states that wanted me to get a pair of things. There was a city-state in particular that I wanted to get envoys for. I do want to get envoys with Lisbon, so let's have a look. Nazca wants a great merchant. Religious convert. That's not going to happen. Great scientist could happen. Albert Einstein isn't, or uh, Nobel isn't bad as a scientist. Send the trade route to Geneva. Train cavalry. We could. Do I have cavalry unlocked? Nope, but we could get it. How long until the next era? Got about 25 turns. So there's some here that you want me to train a privateer. I do have privateer unlocked for sure. We could buy that. There's an envoy. Train a field cannon. And I think it was like train something else too. Train a cuirassier and a field cannon. So if we want to get a field cannon, do we have crossbowmen laying around? We do. So we could do that. That would get me. I think it was like trigger a boost for um, something or other. Was it siege tactics? Damn, why can't I remember that? Is one of these. Scorched Earth, that was it. And that needs two field cannons. And we have two of these guys. And we were going here. We're going to get a Cuirassier and two field cannons. Could we build a knight in the time, actually? That it takes. We have a Mandakalu Cavalry. All the way up. Here. Can we get him back to upgrade him to a Curious here? I think we can. We've got the Saguba over here. We'll get to work on the industrial zone. 
Uh, we want to trade for gold, preferably. We have this. I just want to slap down a couple of uh, forts. I don't have forts unlocked. I need them here. So that means I'm going to go economics into siege tactics. Do I go for two bombards? How much are bombards? Is that worth the science? It's only two turns worth of gold, so I think I could go for that. Chop there. These don't count as forts, I don't think. Let's go improve that. Find another one. Mohenjo Daro. They want me to recruit a great general. That might not happen. There's Suleiman. Sula 1, Sula 2. Sula 3, Sula 4. Under the White Cliffs battlemented. Alright, so we want to play around a bit more city-state stuff, I think. Because we can get a card. Okay, open borders. Let's do mutual open borders. I don't want to trade my Diplo power. But you can buy my spices if you so wish. Yeah, I think we want to we want to make sure we're trying to get city-state stuff. That's, there's a lot of stuff I don't really focus on much when I'm playing the game. So we want to purchase a Bombard. And then we want to get a second Bombard. Um, do we hard build the factory or do we do a project in here? I think we just do a commercial hub investment for a couple of turns. Then over here we got the university, so let's do more projects. Uh, this city is powered, but this would save me some coal maybe and emissions. And the emissions are starting to, uh, to build up here from me. So I need to be careful about emitting too much too quickly. I could put a Nazca in here. Uh, just to give these tiles a boost. Wait, why is that tile plus two? It must have had food or something deposited on it. So you're going to go ahead and find an open spot over here. Is a good one. Right there. You're going to put a Nazca right there. So we're making lots of food. Six faith on this tile, which is crazy. <laughs> We've got Nazca lines. I'm going to put a Nazca line here too. This settler, I think, wants to go here. It's going to put that privateer asleep. I guess we could set it to auto-explore. There's no harm in setting it to auto-explore. Go explore for me, little guy. Kumasi as well. They want Eureka for ballistics. And that's one we're working on, actually. Natural history. There's a lot of stuff you need to keep in your head if you want to play Civ 6 uh, efficiently. And I haven't really been playing the game super efficiently, I must admit. Like, I win I win, I win win almost every game that I win. <laughs> but I, I win most games that I play through, but I, I think there is a lot of room for me to improve as a player, which is... So I want to earn that because that'll get me an envoy with one of these city-states. And I just want to get as many envoys as I can, because that might be worth it to plug that other card in. So these are 620 gold each, but they do require power. Uh, that's going to start to drain my power pretty quickly. But it will start skyrocketing my gold income. Let's get another trader. Uh, let's get them in the cities that are already powered. As a preference. Stupid completed in here. I'd like to build another district. They have a campus of a holy set of a Zagububa. Zagububa. Uh, the industrial zone will be pretty good. A little bit of extra culture might go a long way for me this game. Um, there was a city-state that wanted me to build an entertainment complex, I think. Let's see. I wish there was an easy way to see these quests. Train a field cannon. Steam power. What is steam power? Build two shipyards. We can definitely do that one. Well, I'm pretty sure there was one that wanted me to build. Yeah. So Hattusa wants me to build an entertainment complex. So we're going to go ahead and do that because it only takes nine turns. And I will put it where it's a good industrial zone there this will provide one two three four this will give it me a good adjacency and there's no farm triangle in here anyway so we'll place that we'll get that building uh let's purchase another bombard that'll do that quest so that's the knowledge of siege tactics boosted Rika for ballistics cuirassier ballistics so we have a few guaranteed ones here we could get the stock exchange. I'd like a holy site. I have the Segu, but let's get the holy site. And I think 
This is all good for farm triangles, so I'm thinking right here is better to put the holy side, even if it crushes a decent tile. Gurdwara. Let's do a commercial hub investment. Nazca line here. You can see the food and faith is now starting to stack up here in Walata. It's going to want a neighborhood, actually. And there's a plus five one right there. We'll prioritize the uh, the neighborhood. Just put the bombard into there. This will give me plus one level of diplomatic visibility. That can be a bit of a pain in the ass, that one there. But if you put a Nazca line there, that gives all these tiles so much more faith, so much more food, and so much more production, which is pretty damn cool. Put a plantation there. You're continuing to explore. There's Muscat now. So we found a lot of city-states. I like having a lot of city-states in my game, so that I want to train a cavalry at some point, too. Um, that's something to keep in mind, so it might be worth it to keep gold in store for that. I need to buy a shipyard. I've got a lot of things that I need to do. I, what I need is, like, a little notepad that I can write down things that I need to do, and then, like, tick them off when I complete them. That was something I really liked about At The Gates, as they had that built in. The great production tile. Let's get the Saguba. Well, where's the holy site going? Is the first question. It's a plus five holy site right there. So that means the Saguba is going here. We'll work on the Saguba first. Oh dear. Uh, I'll look for elsewhere to settle. Looks like uh, Christina actually just declared war on me weirdly. That's a weird one. I wasn't expecting Christina to be aggressive. Um, neighborhood district. If you see a castle under fog, you must walk there to meet the extraordinary dream. So, isn't, is Christina even on my island? I don't think so. I think she's like over here, so I don't know why she declared war on me. Oh, maybe Dido declared war. I think I have a military alliance with Dido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm at war with Christina, which I'm fine with. I have a neighborhood here. So the city has a little bit more housing. I could get a second neighborhood. Would be a plus three one right there. That could also be a Nazca line. Neighborhoods kind of work for me here a little bit. City can't really do much else, can it? Any of these unworked mines? Let me have a look at the Empire. It looks like there's not many tiles that I can take for this city. Go for another neighborhood. Builder completed in here. Let's put another farm down. That'll give us a nice farm adjacency. Uh, I think we want to prioritize getting the production tiles up here. This city's going to want a neighborhood. That's a plus five one right there. I want to make sure I don't screw any farm adjacency. So a plus three one here isn't amazing, but it's also not terrible. When do I unlock? Uh, I need to get this sewer building too. Plus five right there. It's too good to pass up. I could also get this plus five. That's a mine. I'll go for this plus five. <clears throat> Military engineer, you're waiting a turn. Mantecalo cavalry. I'll upgrade you once I have access to Cuirassiers. I can't build any improvements here. Head over that way. Put a mine on that tile. Maybe get some more Nazca lines. Get those fishing tiles online. There's a lot of infrastructure I need to work on. You come back down this way. You just wait a turn. Thousand gold, gold per turn. The lowest is to so now I can start building those forts. Uh, where is my military engineer? 
We'll just do the second fort there. I want to build. A, I want to get a second shipyard. So let's make sure we do that. In here is where I can get a shipyard. I think. It's a bit expensive. I think maybe over here then. There you go. That'll give me the boost for steam power, which got me another envoy. I am at war with Muscat. Religious conversion and a cad. I'm at, I'm at war with a few city states actually. So ballistics, cuirassier, ballistics, scorched earth. That's two field cannons. Entertainment complex, I'm working on that. Cavalry, trade route, not going to happen. Great general, not going to happen. Great scientist might happen. Religious conversion, not going to happen. So I think I'm on track to get most of these boosts. So we'll get to work on ballistics. I have the faith for a stock exchange. And I will work some two industrial zone logistics in here so the city can power itself and not use quite as much of my coal. Industrial zone logistics in here has been done. Do a couple of those as well. Do another one of those projects so we can generate more gold. Um, okay, I've got four build charges. Do I have any open deserts that I could make use of here? There's another Nazca line over there. That one's less useful, but I'll still place it. Um, some Nazca lines over here wouldn't be absolutely awful. I'm curious to see what you guys think about the map settings that I have right now. And I do apologize that there was a little gap in the, um, in the series. There should not be any more problems like that. It should be pretty regular let me delock some of these tiles and make some decisions definitely want to work that tile the city has a housing problem so actually we'll just let it kind of do what it wants go to production focus got the harbor coming up it all works on natural history there's natural history, so we can start building archaeologists if we want, which is a way to convert our gold into culture and uh, error score, which is a proposition we might take. There's the boost for ballistics. That'll get us a bunch of thingies. I think two in particular. And the Saguba has been completed in here, so let's get the market and the bank, because those ones don't take power. And then we will just do a commercial hub investment project. Grants two oil per turn, your trade routes gain, plus two gold for each strategic resource improved at the destination city. That's pretty good. And I want you to gain spies. Oh, I didn't do that correctly. Let me try that again. Gain sources. I want to be careful not to be shot by Sweden. You can maybe jump in here and pillage a little bit. Uh, Nazca line. Yep. It's going to give these tiles uh, much better yields. Actually, I could get my privateer. Send it off to Sweden and start pillaging its coast. Another Nazca over here. I was going to build this wonder, but I don't think I am anymore. To run away and see if we can get away from this. I didn't think there would be a city there. Yeah, I'll accept this demand, even though it's it's like a shitty demand. Uh, I'm gonna vote yes on this because I want to have the chance to participate in the um, diplomatic victory if it's possible. Oh, 
110 gold there. Fair trade. Um, let's grab the stock exchange. And the university in here. Then let's do a... Do you need a neighborhood? You're low on housing. You don't have very good slots for a neighborhood, though, which sucks because these are also pillage. So maybe you could just slowly build me a builder. I'll be fine. It is slightly inefficient, but it'll be fine. Trade with Winnipeg. Waiting to upgrade you. So I want to have enough gold in the bank to upgrade those units next turn, and we should have enough gold. Okay, so somebody is stealing gold from Walata. Just down here, which sucks. Um, so we're going to upgrade field cannon, upgrade field cannon, upgrade cuirassier. So now we've filled out most of these missions. There's only a few of the more difficult ones, like the entertainment complex, which will be done in two turns. Train a cavalry. That's the next thing we want to pick up. Even though I really want to pick up sanitation, I want to get these envoys if I if I can. So we own we have Nazca on our side. Um, I'd like to start getting people like these um, these money city states because we we have um, we're getting banks and shipyards up. So it would be good to maybe go up to three with Lisbon. We'll see how much our gold jumps. Jumped up a little bit there. I think that's a worthwhile expenditure of those. We can get a wonder if we want. Actually, I think... I'm not sure what wonder I want to get here. Let's have a look at what are our options in terms of wonders. Terracotta army. We could get that up here. And we could do it with one build charge on that builder. Or we could go use them to finish the mausoleum. Essentially generate a build charge out of them. And then every single one of our... Yeah, I like that. I want to secure that. So where the hell are you? Teleport you here. And then we'll finish this next turn. And then we'll go build the terracotta army. Uh, mainly for era score. So I completed a neighborhood in here. So this city has now really, 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 really good housing. Um, <clears throat> it has a holy site, a succubit, and an industrial zone. Which are pretty good districts. I don't think I actually want more districts in here, do I? I think I'm actually perfectly happy to just let this thing sit the way it is. I mean, this city is fine. It doesn't need to develop anymore. Um, so maybe I will just... Uh, queue up useful projects like a spy... And then a bunch of, like, industrial... And just bounce between these two. To generate a lot of great people points. So I think this city is fine the way it is. We will have to come back and make sure we do purchasing in it. Um, I want to I wanna get a cavalry. I have the horsemen ready to go. Stock exchange here. I could faith purchase that. Give me a little bit of benefits. Let's get the monument... Lighthouse, shipyard, and then let's do... The city is just naturally growing. Let's get a trader in here. Let's see if we can do some international trading. And then you're just going to work on... You could use a neighborhood. There's a plus five neighborhood right there. This will go down and yield, though. So it might be better to put it over here here because it's beside a natural wonder it's a really good one though city might just have to make do without an, a neighborhood for a while we could build the statue of liberty oh this does give a diplomatic victory point when you finish it so let's go for it uh right there so Guba completed in here let's get the market that's another trade route and in the meantime, just do a commercial hub investment, and then when we come back to you, we'll look to purchase upgrade in you. We'll put a Nazca here. We'll give some boosts. You're exploring still. Oh, we found a huge volcano. Very cool. And we got circumnavigation. Cool. Oh my god, look at these yields. It's a lot of fun playing on the uh, high disaster intensity. It's a lot of fun, I gotta say. Uh, 
like, yep, sure, you can buy those. I have those maxed out. I don't mind selling those. Seems like a perfectly reasonable thing for me to do. Oh, a thousand year flood. It was mitigated, but we should still get a little bit of production and stuff out of that. That's nice. Uh, completed the industrial zone here. Let's make sure oh, we can't afford a stock exchange. I would really like the Forbidden City, actually. That's a wonder I could get. Where the hell would I build that, though? Well, if I finish this... A vast tomb. I could then... Where do I get the Forbidden City? Is this a theater square? No, it's a neighborhood. If I put it here, I could put a theater square there. So you got plus one build charge, Gustav Eiffel did. I'm trying out this whole, like, work projects thing. I think it has merit. So we'll do one of each of those. Um, shipyard needs to be repaired, which sucks. I think it got hit by something. Put a Nazca over here. Get those lovely yields. For some reason, it doesn't apply the yields to my allied neighbor tiles, which is interesting. That is an important consideration. And we'll trade for a lot of gold. We're up to two th nearly 1,200 gold per turn. Flanking bonus for naval units. I can do that twice, which makes them insane. You run over there. And... <clears throat> Nazca line here. Look at this tile. Look at these. It's insane. I can actually probably get rid of this. No, I think it's worth it to keep these. I don't think it's worth it to build one here because it's surrounded by them. But certainly, it would be worth it to build like a line of them through here. And provide really nice yields to these water tiles. Are you even using these coastal tiles? Let me check who these belong to. Yeah, so Niani doesn't need these tiles. So I'm going to give... Uh, see the way my capitalist borders have like kind of snaked the way too far away. So Niani can only use this tile. It can't actually use this coast. So we're going to confiscate the coast. We'll give a little bit to this guy. That's really cool that the bonus applies to coastal tiles too. Wow, Nazca lines with desert are fun, dude. I really like that improvement. That is a really cool improvement. I really wish I didn't have this here though. Conservation and chemistry has advanced. Uh, neighborhood completed in here. Let's grab the zoo, I guess. We'll purchase the stock exchange. It doesn't give me bonus amenities, which is always nice. I might specialize the city. And we'll think about it to get just super yields with Reyna. I guess in theory I could also purchase districts. Uh, where am I going to move Reyna? Where do I need to build districts? That's a question I should ask myself. Uh, well, soon actually in Walata I'll want another district. So I'm going to move Reyna. We grab Reyna and put her over in Walata. There we are. Neighborhood completed in Gen. So this city is going to be going along nicely. Could do farms over here. I was going to do lumber mills, but farms would be good. It would let the city grow and work all these specialist tiles. Maybe we'll do a builder and just put farms in here. That could be fun. queue up a commercial hub investment we completed this here did you build the arena slow well no i don't think building the arena makes sense we want to do we want to try out this whole strategy of doing the projects thing somebody suggested it to me and i really liked it as an idea it's a cool idea um to just work commercial hub projects and stuff like that instead of building things so i'm going to trade with buddha you're going to go there you're going to go there oh, i can't actually put anything useful here so then I guess you're just going to repair these mines here. Uh, and then I'm going to teleport you over to here and put one charge. Maybe, yeah, we'll put one charge into the Forbidden City when it's close to being done. So we'll have to check that every turn. We'll just get the second flanking bonus. And to keep an eye on these friendships so I can renew them. My empire is huge and sprawling and it feels really nice. I can even fit more cities in if I wanted to. Which is pretty cool. I could even settle down here, maybe. We just got conservation, so we can build those lumber mills if we want. So we have the option to do lumber mills. 
um, here. Do I want production in here? The city lacks production. I don't really need production though, do I? Definitely makes sense to put a lumber mill there. But this all makes sense as farms. Maybe a lumber mill here as well. Yeah, I definitely feel like it makes sense to put lumber mills here and here. But over here it makes sense to make farms, I think. Because this could just be a huge farming area. Okay, so we got conservation. I'm going to go ahead and pick up mass media. We got the industrial zone logistics done in here. It's fate to purchase the stock exchange. How many emissions have we put out? Quite a bit. Not a huge crazy amount though. Do you have a neighborhood already? I don't think you do. You could use a neighborhood. I mean, do we just kill one of these farms? These farm triangles are important. But this production might not be as important as we made it out to be because we're, we're starting to get crazy production just from our population. So I think we can sacrifice a mine for this. This is a plus four one right here. Um, an industrial zone has been done over here. Let's go ahead and get the workshop. Give that city just that little bit of a scooch more production that I can put into... Uh, we'll do a mixed... We'll do that. That seems reasonable. Okay, we have two of these... Religious conversion. Great scientist. Someone wanted a cavalry, I think. And I did... I'm unlocking that next turn. But other than that, we've got all the things we need. So, I'd like to get more faith. Did that not update for me? Let's see if we can't... Forces update. We're up to 400 faith per turn, which is pretty damn good. Put a Nazca line there. Uh, you're waiting, because we just want to chop in here when the time is right. Go ahead and try to steal money from me. Go ahead and get that kill for a little bit of experience. You want Emma back? No, 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 no. If I have one of your spies, I'm keeping them forever because it reduces the number of times I have to defend against spies. Oh, right. I should uh, totally end this video. I kind of went on longer. I meant to make this like 25 minutes. We're now on minute 32. So I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.